Hello and welcome. In today's video, I want to talk about adding text colors to your terminal programs in Python. So I'm starting this off with a class that I've created in this textcolors.py file. I want to just uh, take a moment to pause and take a look at our folder structure. If you haven't used classes before, you'll notice that my main folders, yt-examples, is where um, I ha I'll have ultimately my main file that I'll be running. And in this folder, I have a subfolder called modules. Modules is going to hold my class file, which again is text underscore colors.py, and it has my class information. But I'll also need this double underscore in it, double underscore dot pi file. This file will allow me to use this class in other files. So uh, please make sure that you create a similar structure if, uh, if you're trying this exercise, or if not, that your class just, you know, remain or is in the same file, in your same Python file if you just want to try it right away. Anyways, let's let's continue. So my code, excuse me, my video will have a GitHub link in the comments where you can check out the code files. Um, within this code file I'll also have a link to the uh, to a website that color that covers excuse me more colors. So uh, that being said, going on to our text colors class, it's basically just a declaration of a lot of variable values that we are going to be using uh, for within our program so that our terminal can apply coloration or actual text decorations. So you notice here that I have a set of colors, red, green, yellow, blue, and so on. Then I have uh, additional text decorations such as underline, bold, and inverse. And finally an end, meaning that the text dec um, a value for the text decoration to end. So now I'm going to go and uh, open up my blank terminal text file. And I'm going to write some code. Basically, uh, what I'm going to ask the user is for them to uh, input a value, and I'm going to evaluate the input value to see to determine if it's a, an integer or not. So I'm going to ask the user to enter an integer. Now, if the value that they enter is equal to exit, then I'm just going to break out of the loop, right? Otherwise, the loop will continue to run forever. So I want to have uh, I want to have a way to break out of this loop. Otherwise, if the value is evaluated as a digit, this is a function within Python, then I want to print a message. And basically I want to say the value entered is a digit, or I'll say an integer. Otherwise, I'll print the message saying the value entered. value entered is not an integer. There we go. So if I run this program, let's say enter 2343, I get this message 2343 is an integer. If I enter another value, such as letters, it'll tell me it's not an integer. If I enter 33 and a letter, it's not an integer, and it makes sense, right? The evaluation's, you know, proper. Now, notice one thing, though. I'm going to exit from this program, but all the text is just the default terminal color, in this case, white. Um, so, we're, so if I'm a user, I'm not necessarily um, getting any, like, uh, just really visual uh, cues that maybe like a value that I entered is wrong, right? I have to like kind of just read through all of this, like all this text. So, um, so if you're concerned about, you know, making sure that your user gets, you know, some, uh, or that, that messages to them are like really highlighted, um, using colors within your text messages or within your messages of your terminal program are going to be ex extremely helpful. So uh, if we want to be able to do that, we're going to import our class. So we're going to say from modules dot text colors import our text colors class, and we're going to instantiate our text colors class uh, using letter T. Now, since um, I have all these attributes here, 
instantiate, well, it's not that since I have my class instantiated, I can call any of these attributes that I want, whether it's colors, a text decoration, or an ending of the text decoration, right? So what I'll do for my first message here is I will wrap this in green. And uh, since I'm bringing in the uh, variable, really, or instantiated object, I'm going to type t.green, since this is like the good message. And I want to make sure that um, that I don't carry on the green coloration to other messages. So I'm going to have to put like an end of like the text decoration. Um, and then for the for this message, maybe I want to color it uh, red. So I'll introduce the, the red value. Uh, but let's say I also want to make it bold. So I'll type T bold as well. And so um, at the end of that, I want to make sure that I also end the text decoration. So I'll type an end uh, value as well so I can close that off. And I think the program should be ready to go. So if I run this, enter an integer, it gives me a nice message in green. So visually I can see that everything is fine. If I enter like some letters, then it tells me that this is not an integer and it's bolded so I can see that something is wrong. And it's a lot easier for me to kind of, as a user, operate the program and really pay attention to what's going on. So anyways, um, I hope you found this tutorial valuable and it really levels up your game uh, in terms of like terminal programming. Uh, thank you very much for watching and have a great day.